Okay, in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to play the song Lean On Me. Very simple one, which would be called for a very simple tutorial. So stay tuned. Uh, the chords should be at the top for you guys, and I will lay it out as simply as possible. It's going to sound exactly like the song if you follow exactly what I do in this video. Let's get started. So I'm going to play it first, then I'm going to run through the right hand, then I'm going to run through the left hand, and then I'm going to let you guys practice it um, along with me, and that'll be the end of the video on to the next one. Got it? All right, let's go. Now with the right hand, you can notice that I'm on, uh, you'll find find the middle C right here, and notice that I'm on the left of that, so I'm a little bit deeper. If that sounds a little bit muddy for you, which I don't think it will, uh, so whatever, let's start there. In the right hand, it's going to be uh, E, G, C. I'll have the chords up there. I think they should just be somewhere on your screen so that um, you can just go through there and instead of having to look at my fingers and whatnot i'll be getting more software so you guys can see better i um, mean see the whole visualize the whole process any who's let's get back into it egc and then <clears throat> all you're going to be doing is moving your uh, thumb over to f your middle finger over to a from g to a and c over to d that's going to be the second chord and it's going to be from F to G, from A to C, and D to E. After that, it's going to be G to A, stay at C, and then E to F. Now, a couple things I want you to notice here is in this run where it goes. This comes from the melody. It says... So the melody will most likely be on the top note, which is why the rest of the, co the chord is on the bottom. That's the first thing I want you to notice. The second thing is when you're going up with these four chords, there's going to be some points where you can like straddle with one finger in the middle, which is going to be your middle finger, not necessarily changing a key. Okay, yeah, there it is. So from E to F, C stays the same. The only thing that changes are the outer keys. I want you to look for look out for that, okay? So that's the first part. And then it comes just right back down, same chords. So I'll practice that up and down, up and down. Basically, what I've done is I've already taught, thought, taught you, excuse me, the chords, C, D, E, and F. So all you need to do is do the same hand movements, but just up to E now. So when you go back down, go all the way up to E. Two. And then back down to one. And then go back up to F. And this is where it changes. To E again, but on this last chord, you're gonna take a C to B, E to D, playing a G major, and then back to C on the C major chord. So that last part is gonna sound like now. The left hand is simple, it's going to be octaves, it's just gonna mirror the top and bottom note, <clears throat> same key, C. In 
In a way, you are mirroring the right hand. Now, you don't want to go all the way down to G. That's a lot of movement, so just go. You can go straight to G. But what I like to do um, to simplify mo movement, because <clears throat> that's what you would like to do in a song, is I'd probably just play the single note. So I'll go like this. So that way I'm not going over here. I can just easily press it in the middle and then go straight back to the octaves. Now there it is. As long as you get the chords down, um, now you can add the little movement that I do um, when you're at the top of F and when you're um, at the C down here. So what that sounds like is... Up at the F, you know, it's going to be A, C, F, and your F octaves, okay? So what I'm doing is basically straddling from C to D. And when I come back down to C, I'm just going from G to A. And I just do that, um... To give it the song more flavor so anyways let's go right back into me just playing it fairly slow Okay, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. We'll talk soon.